Hey all, this is part two. In this we're going to access the element, or an element, in an array. So we assume that array already exists. We're going to recall that arrays are zero indexed. And here is an example. Uh, the examples from here on out, I tried to make them one where it's uh, very basic. Just an array, some random numbers, and then a, a raw accessing of the element and then logging that to the console. So this would be kind of like the syntax or the docs, or the generalized docs as it were. And then we're going to try to provide examples that are a little bit more uh, specific. So in this one we have an array that is a list of breakfast options. We've got eggs, bacon, pancakes, coffee, and fruit. And then we're going to declare a variable called index, which is going to be index 3. So 0, 1, 2, 2, 3. And then breakfast choice is going to be the array we're trying to access, accessed at the index that we're looking for. So if we console a log our breakfast choice after that, I think we should get coffee. Excellent. Light breakfast today. So accessing an element in an array coding challenge, we're going to complete a function that takes two parameters, an array and a numerical index, and returns the element in the array located at the numerical index. Your function should create a variable and assign it to an expression which accesses the element located at the numerical index, then return that variable. Below is an example of the code running, assuming that you will have completed the described function, access an element. You know the drill. Well, you might not, so we're going to copy and paste our stub. We're going to come back here and copy and paste our test case, which I actually figured out a way to highlight everything a little bit easier for those ones that kind of go off the page. Um, I've been highlighting from the top left to just below, basically here to here. Um, well, it's not ideal. A new version of the course might have like an extra comment line down here so that you can highlight more easily. Okay, so we've got a call to our function, again, saving the result as a variable, and then we're going to console.log that to make sure that the function works in one, at least in one case. So uh, create a result variable, assign it to an expression that accesses the element within the array at the index. So if we look back here, it's going to be something like this, where this is the array and this is the index. So we'll come back to our replet, we're going to say array at index, and that's going to save that into the result variable, which we will then return run our function. We should see mouse. We do. Copy and paste this into the input window. And our status is green. Excellent work. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.